Board Sports with Lexi Swat. Good evening, everyone. Both Union and RPI men's hockey hit the road this weekend after their big weekend win over a ranked Northeastern Union starts their weekend at Princeton tonight before they head to third ranked Quinnipiac on Saturday and a little bit of the same, but a little different for RPI starting with the Bobcats before visiting the Tigers. I'll have a recap on both tonight on New Channel 13 Live at 11. You Albany Great Danes on the road to Rhode Island for tomorrow's afternoon tip off at Big East Big in Providence. The three and seven Great Danes are still working without their face. Aaron Reddish, who dealt with both of those things, should be back to the court for UA. Playing time still up in the air for him, though. Hudson Falls native and starting forward Jonathan Beagle excited for this Power 6 meeting, knowing that competition like Providence is what's going to set he and his team up for greatness come America East play. I know we're all really excited. We're going in there, obviously, with the expectation to win. We go in every game with the expectation to win. This isn't just a game for us, uh, but we're really excited and we're ready to learn. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a battle. You know, it's always fun going on the road, trying to be somebody at their, you know, their, their home court. So, um, you know, I, me and my brothers, you know, we're going we're gonna to come in there and try to come out there with a win. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. And our high school basketball game of the night on the Callanan Industry scoreboard. Sean Oregon and his AP Warriors visiting coach Robin Chudy in Saratoga in suburban girls basketball tip offs at seven. We'll have highlights and post game sound from one of the best conference games this season on New Channel 13 live at 11 again. And I just want to say thank you to the loft in Gloversville for letting me hang out on Tuesday and talk about what it's like to be part of team 13 students from both the middle and high schools attend the loft, which is in downtown Gloversville, and they had some awesome questions questions that they asked me for middle school kids. I was really impressed and I had a ball in the same time. It looks fun. It was. It really was. We were talking about this live before. They had some specific questions. They're, like I'm talking like how I edit, what softwares yeah. I use to edit, not wow. just about the job in general. I was very impressed. Smart very kids. They really are. All right. Thank you so much, Alexi. Alexi, thank you. When we come back, Paul has a last look at your forecast. He's timing out that snow for Sunday. He is. And here's a look at what we are working on for our late broadcast. Live at 9 on my 4, taking a closer look at the exchange for WNBA player Brittany Griner.